Okay, in this video, I'll show how you have a stripping component and you want the component to reach all the way to the extent of the terrain like you have in this image. So you want it to go all the way to the edge and then you also want it to be displayed as a dashed line. And so in this example, we would want the stripping component, this is my terrain boundary, we would want it to extend all the way to the boundary. We don't want it to stop before or go past, we want it to go all the way to the edge of the boundary. So when we're going to do that, we're going to want to use a point control to where it's a, using the boundary of the terrain as the point control. So you'll need to get the boundary as an element. Um, different terrains will already have that boundary as a 3D element already in there. If you don't have it, um, one workaround to that is you can go here and just export your terrain to a DTM and select the inroads DTM and export it. And then when you go to re-import it, go select it and change the import option to import features only. Maybe check to name it. And so that's what I did to get this boundary right here, which is this 3D linear element. You can see it's named OG103. So that's the element I'm going to use. So this is just one of the templates that we provide. And I'll go in and add a stripping component to it. So I'll go and edit the template. So I'll have mine start right here. So I'm going to add a new stripping component. And I'm going to set the feature to, let's see, grading, uh, this is topsoil. And I want the top option, top and bottom to follow the surface. I want the surface depth, let's just say it's a foot, just so that we can see it. And I extended it pretty far out. I'll click finish. So I'm just going to show one side. It's processing. Okay. So we can see for the most part this does for the entire corridor extend beyond the corridor, um, the terrain boundary. So I can go add a point control right here and select my start and stop. I'm going to lock to the start, lock to the stop. Okay, so now I'm going to look at my point. I want to control this point right here. And I only want to control it horizontally. And I want to control it with this boundary right there. I don't want any kind of offsets. Okay. And now you can see that it extended only to the boundary. So like if I open up the corridor view, okay, so you can see here, it's just following the surface. And it looks like there's some triangulation um, here that we, we could fix. But see, it's stopping at the um, end of the terrain. And so if you wanted this line to display as a dashed line, this is all con controlled by the feature. So you assigned it a feature definition. I did the TC topsoil right here. So if you go under your open road standards, which is from the Explorer, it's just right here. We'll open it up. Open road standards. I want to go down to my feature definitions. This is a mesh feature definition and I'll select my TC topsoil. I'll look at the feature symbology. So now I'll go down to my feature symbologies. It's a surface. Okay, so I'll select my TC topsoil. And then I want to go to my element template that is assigned to the symbology. Oh, it's a template point grading. Oh, modeling components. Okay, so it's right here. Then grading, TC topsoil. 
and the level that's assigned is the TC topsoil. So the levels is what, sh is what controls these line styles. So I want to go to my level manager, which is right here, go to TC topsoil. And so this is where I can change the way that it looks. So I can set it here and you can see it changes. I'll set it back to two. You can change the color just like that. So that's how you would change the look of it. And it's all controlled by the feature definition that you assign, which you can change the feature definition just by going to the component. Just double click on the component. Yeah, and you could change the feature definition here.